And welcome back to Cigar Time, your friendly neighborhood show all about premium cigars. Hey, 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 hey. Hey, I remembered it after, what, three weeks? Yeah, really. Weeks. And nobody distracted you to make you laugh. That's right. That's I should have done that. That's true. There's Sorry. no one here to do that anymore. You are sitting in the seat. You, know, you have to do it. I should right. make you laugh. <laughs> yeah. I'm not good at that. So, welcome back. Um, it's been a while since we've been on, so... Um, we've missed you. Yes, we missed Absolutely. doing the show. We've uh, we just uh, just haven't been able to get together. Things I've been up in Quaker Town for the last three weeks, so it's been tough. And I've had a get, couple of yeah, see, been minor up. issues. Yeah, <laughs> minor. <laughs> Moose is the only one who's been here. Steady Eddie. <laughs> <laughs> so well, thanks for watching. Thank yeah, have a nice day. Yeah, thanks for staying. <laughs> yeah, that's all, folks. We're thanks done. for sticking with us. Um, today we are smoking the Bloodline from by Esteban Carrera. Esteban Carrera. The official name is Bloodline O P O P A, o o -P -A and I have no idea what the O P A stands for. Oh, that no. no, it's not. That's I'm it's just not kidding. Right. So, uh, Bloodline, in general, is a sort of specialty boutique offering from Esteban Carrera. Mm -hmm. um, it comes in a Maduro, a Habano, and a Connecticut. Mm -hmm. uh, this is the Maduro. Maduro yeah. It's a Connecticut broadleaf, uh, all Nicaraguan filler and binder. Mm -hmm. Nothing wrong with that. Interestingly, they ferment this in a slightly unique way. Mm -hmm. um, instead of just having the pilones, the big piles of tobacco to ferment, right. they put a board over the top of the pilone and put some cinder blocks on it. And the fermentation takes place under a little bit of pressure. Right. They call it soft pressure. Okay. But it's just enough that the fermentation gets hotter because of the pressure. Mm -hmm. And at a higher level of fermentation, you can take stronger tobaccos right. and smooth them out. This is, I'm getting it, you said it earlier, uh, a barnyard taste, but I'm also getting a smoky taste like a um, Kentucky fire cured smell to it. And, and, almost, I, and almost like, like I said, a, a sweetness like a licorice smell all at the same time. When I take the, the pre light draw, I don't get any of that. I'm getting straight barnyard. Barnyard is the best thing you can possibly get yeah. out of a cigar. <laughs> yeah, I'm sorry, you want to say something? Uh, that, that extra smoky flavor mm -hmm. or aroma that you yeah. get, I think, is the result of that special fermentation. Okay. I have not had this cigar yet. Tucked away in Quaker Town. I haven't seen anything that comes in. Man has to be terrible. <laughs> I have great customers up there. Well, that's good. Mm -hmm. Interesting. Interesting flavor. For some reason, I've been cutting down smoking, too. Uh, I know. God. The industry will collapse. I know. I smoked three cigars yesterday. I know. I smoked I, three before I got the word. <laughs> I was going to say, if I smoked three, I'd have to kill somebody. <laughs> well, not all day, but then I walked my dog, so I, had, I guess I had four. But only at work, I only had three cigars. And I've been doing that lately, and I don't, I don't know why. Nothing good there to smoke. <laughs> no, there's plenty. Uh, there's plenty of good stuff. I'm just saying, it's just I don't know why. Uh, so how's everybody been? I haven't seen you guys. Doing okay. Yeah. Doing all right. Where was it okay? Yeah. Good. Yeah. You getting around? Uh, getting around better. That's good. Getting around better. Getting, it's a slow process this time. 
Well, I've had a few. I've had an interesting one, so let's put it that way. Okay. Yeah, highly up in Quakerton, she had her knee operated. She had a knee replacement. That's why I've been up there covering for her. So um, she just came back last Sunday. So. Well, I had to have half of my blood replaced. That's true. Half of it. Do you know whose blood it was? No. Who replaced it? No. It's a weird thing. Blah, blah. Weird thing, though. I discovered that I'm in, I had no idea what my blood type was. Mm -hmm. I'm an O negative, a universal donor, mm -hmm. but not a universal recipient. It doesn't work both ways. Really? If you're O negative, you have to get O negative, just like everybody else has to get whatever they have to get. Right. But I could give blood to anybody. Wow. Okay. We well, always I, thought you went both ways. Yeah. <laughs> Let's no, squash I, those rumors right now. Yeah, let's. I only go one way. It's a little too negative. Yeah, that's right. Um, do, do you know anything interesting going on in the business? Right? Not right now. It's been like a quiet time. It's very quiet. Yeah. No big legislative stuff going on. Nobody bought anybody in the last few weeks. Not yet. <laughs> no. Yeah, so yeah, it's pretty slow. Although business has picked up because, of, because, of, the because of the weather. Yeah. Because of the weather. More golfing. Yeah. Well, in this week, chances are this, the lounges will be full because where else are you going to go outside and not kill yourself? Yeah, in it's the heat. ridiculously hot. Well, you can't go to Quaker Town because our air conditioner is broken. Oh, really? That might have something to do with why I'm. Why it's too, hot to it's too hot too hot to smoke. It was 83 degrees in there yesterday. It's crazy. It's never too hot to smoke. You better keep an eye on this. Cigar. You know, I like your attitude. It's just not practical. <laughs> <laughs> what do you think? I keep you busy? Yeah. So. Well, I said keep an eye on the cigars. Oh. If it's yeah. 80, if uh, it's 83 yeah. degrees in there. Yeah, it can't be. Yeah, it can't stay that way for a long period of time. No. The humidity is good though. Well, right. But still, it's too hot. I get larva. Yes, you do. You don't want that. No, you don't. You don't want your cigars to get up and walk around. That's exactly right. <laughs> so let's get our first impressions there, Bruce. I like the cigar. I'm, I'm a little few. prejudiced. I've yeah. smoked a few of these yeah. already. Uh, the combination of the, um, what you guys are calling the licorice right. and the smokiness reminds me of a couple of bourbons like that. Really? Yeah. Okay. It's, it, the, the, the combination Noah's, of the Noah's two, Mill and, and the Kings County. That have that licorice yeah. and yeah. smoky um, note. That would pair really nicely. Yes, it would. Yeah. I was just going to say. Would it, you pair a burger with burger? I was going to get to that. Yeah. I was going. I was going to get to that later, but okay. Yeah. The first one I smoked, I, I was drinking Kings County bourbon. Okay. And uh, it was really good. Mm -hmm. They they matched up very well. Uh, they didn't fight each other either. Sometimes when you have a drink with a cigar, right? One fights the other. Yep. These just blended perfectly. I, I would imagine that would be perfect. This is more of a traditional size, also, of Toro. Yeah. 6 by 50. It's not a 52 oh. or a 54. It's not one of those fat Toros. Yeah, yeah. It's regular size. I like it. Feels good in the hand. Construction is great. It draws excellent, and smoke production is pretty good. It's not what I said. I know. After I said it. 4 percent I'm going to repeat it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to stop <laughs> Uh, you got, you're lucky I like you. <laughs> Paul, what about you? Well, I'm definitely getting the licorice note. Not as much anymore of the smoky note. Uh -huh. um, it's got a really creamy mouthfeel. Uh -huh. not, it doesn't taste like cream at all. Right, but, it's but it feels creamy feels in good. the mouth. Yeah, yeah. And I would say it's pretty full body. The Retro L, it feels like it would be full body. 
And now I'm starting to feel it. <laughs> yeah, I'm liking this a lot. What happens when you smoke a full body cigar? Where do you feel it first? Do you feel it in, in your mouth? Or? I kind of feel it in my lips, and the front of my face starts to right. tingle. Yeah, that. But it happens for me. It happens in my eyes, like like back here, between my eyes. That's where I start to feel it first, and then it gets and then it gets to like my face. You can feel it. For me, it's the quality of the cigar. If it's bad, I feel it. I feel it in my stomach first. <laughs> <laughs> if it's a good cigar, I get it. Middle of the tongue. Yeah. That's where I get the pepperiness in there. Mm -hmm. You know. I mean, you say you said, oh, get the right with cigars, have some level of pepper. Oh, uh, yeah. I would say it's pretty minimal in this cigar. Yes. Yeah. Yes. And you the, know what? The, the other flavors are more dominant, definitely. I don't get any, I don't get any cocoa taste from it. Which um, is typical. Typical of Nicaraguan it. tobacco. Yeah, I don't get any of that. That may have smoothed out. Pressure, the pressure, the way yeah. they fermented it. It's interesting. By the way, if you want to try these, we're having two events mm -hmm. for Esteban Carrera next week. I believe next Thursday at Oxford Valley from 4 to 7, and then Friday at Richboro from 12 to 4, Cutting Lights with Sean Quay. Sean Quay. Sean the man. Yeah. Okay. That's cool. I'm I'm getting the the creaminess. It, it really coats your mouth with, with cream. Yeah. I, <laughs> you just I gotta stop step, talking. You are just, just stepping in it. Every time you open your mouth, you stop. I really is have it to stop it come and go. <laughs> <laughs> I really have to stop. Talking. <laughs> Comes you, from you, not being here in a while. You forgot how we're what uh, we're yeah. like. <laughs> so yeah, I, I get the creaminess, and I'm still getting a little bit of the smokiness, um, like when I smoke a, a Kentucky Fire cured cigar or something, or even the um, uh, Panacea mm -hmm. uh, Fire cured. When's um, the last time you smoked a Panacea? It's got to be four or five years, but I still remember the taste. Yeah. Yeah, they're um, they're Kentucky Fire. Yeah, they're very good. Very, you know, I like those better than Drew Estates. Drew Estates. Yeah, um, but I think they do it differently too. But anyway, um, I'm getting that. I'm still getting that smokiness taste from it. Um, the retro hail, I haven't done it all that much yet, but uh, I do get the, the power uh, through the retro. Maybe that's why it goes into you know some of the my eyes first. Because you're retro handling it's in your sinuses. Yeah, yeah. Could be. Oh, I'll stop with that. <laughs> I know about that. It's how I relate to my cigar. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm definitely getting the liquor. So many jokes, so little. Why not? <laughs> so what a bummer about Louis Mays. Yeah, I was. That's a shame. I heard that last night. I'm like, oh yeah. my god. Arguably the greatest of all. Arguably. Yeah, I. I never. I saw Willie Mays play. Um, but he was towards the end of his career. I mean, like from 1970 until I think he retired in '73. I didn't see him all that much. I saw him in the '60s, but I'm older than. Yeah, that's true. So, I mean, I may have seen him on television and been too young to know. Well, that's well, really me. The but, um, yeah, um, I, I, to me, my favorite player. He, he's not the best player in the world ever to play baseball. But is, is Ken Griffey Jr. I, I just in all, all of him. Well, in all of him, and they say they were similar type players, but I, I don't know. So, Art knew uh, Willie Mays, so he didn't know him, I guess. He met him uh, a few times um, when he was uh, working at one of the casinos, I think Bally's, down Atlantic City. Art met him a bunch of times down there. Oh, really? Yeah. So. Did, do you remember seeing uh, Willie Mays? Play ball, yeah. Yeah. Uh, see, I was right on the cusp of that. 
snow. Don't worry, folks, it's just a fibrillator going off. Yeah. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> Try to pull the KGP or the jump monitor. down uh, like yesterday. We're going to have to the White House. Window. In the middle of a press thing with the White House, somebody passed out and she jumps off the stage to try to help them. Yeah, yesterday? Yeah. Uh, uh, no. No. So what's going on with the Phillies? They're, st they're still in first place by eight games, eight and a half games. Well, that's a good position. Although the Mets are playing well. They've won seven in a row. Going into today's game. That may be your first. <laughs> At least lately. Lately, anyway, yeah. Um, now they're still they're still playing well. Um, they are. They, they still have the, I think they still have the best record in the National League. Yeah, the Yankees are the best record in baseball. Yeah, the Yankees. I hate the Yankees. Oh my God. <laughs> I think everybody in the room could agree on that. The, they're the evil empire. The only thing I hate more than the Yankees are Yankee fans. Of both. <laughs> So, yeah, I, I hate the Yankees, but, um, yeah, they're, they're doing well. I mean, they didn't fare so well in, in Baltimore, who has the second best, I think they have the second best record in baseball, all of baseball. Well, they lost close. last night to the Yankees, so I don't know what. Well, maybe not yeah. now. So, I don't know. It's so close. They're the best three, they're the three best teams in baseball, Yankees, Phillies, and Orioles. About 35 years ago, that's a long time. Yeah. Thir about 35 years ago, I was at a Yankee game in the old Yankee Stadium. Mm -hmm. I've been to the old Yankee Stadium. And so typical of New York, there was a guy jumping up and down and waving his arms. Mm -hmm. And somebody outside the stadium shot at the stadium and it went right through his hand. What? Did they ever catch the guy? No. Poor girl? No. Wow. So you, how do you want to just shoot at the stadium? I, I can't provide any logic <laughs> behind that. I can only tell you that that's the last time I went to Yankee Stadium. <laughs> Did you hear the shot? Yes, everybody heard the shot. Really? Over the loud noise? It must have been like a, from an apartment building that overlooked the stadium, because mm -hmm. there are some around there. Yeah. And most of them are projects with, you know, mm. gangbangers. As of the games last night, the Phillies are second in the world. Are they? Okay. A like game and a half over Baltimore. No, I'm not talking um, percentage-wise, you know, all that stuff. Yeah, they're saying they're a game and a half over Baltimore right now. Oh, okay. Yeah. That's good. And yeah, we did very well against them, though. But that was in Camden Yards. I love Camden Yards. You been to a game there? No. Oh my God, it's a beautiful place. I hate Camden Yards. Why? Worst stadium ever. No, it's not. That's where I got engaged. <laughs> <laughs> That's evil. Bad memories, huh? <laughs> That's a shame. It's a beautiful place. It is. It really is, especially, especially the area around it. It's down close to the harbor, and it's right and it's right off 95. It's the easiest thing in the world. Yeah. So. It's just like Citizens Bank. It's right off 95. So. My problem with Camden Yards is Camden. <laughs> <laughs> I can't hear that name without thinking of Camden. And that's not a pretty place. Well, neither one, Jersey or Maryland. Camden. But, um, yeah, it's, I love Camden Yards. My favorite, my favorite place I ever saw a game was Fenway Park. I, can't even tell you how many games I've been there yet. I love going up to Boston and seeing the game there. So. so, you said you would pair which which bourbon? King County bourbon. What about you? I would pair it with a bourbon called Noah's Mill. Okay. Which is a, a high proof bourbon mm -hmm. that has a, a bit of that licorice note. Okay. All right. What about beer? You have a beer? You pair Not with yet. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, I don't have an idea about a beer yet either. Come back to us a little bit. What about you? I I don't drink enough to know what has licorice 
Well, it doesn't have to have licorice. Well, I'll just get you know, I mean, what would you feel like drinking with that? Probably bullet. I know you really like bullet. I like bullet. Or actually, you know, maybe a, a Jim Beam um, single barrel. I think any Woodford mm -hmm. would also, even though it has no licorice no. Yeah. I think any Woodford would go well with this. Especially that, that, the that double would, O. That would work because of the, the contrasting flavors. Yeah. They would complement each other, but it would be the contrasting flavors. In like, instead of being similar, they would yeah, be... Yeah, with the two we picked, they're similar in case, so they wouldn't... They, neither one would fight the other for it. Well, and I don't think that would fight either. It would just be different. Well, it would still complement it, but it would give it a different taste. It you would know, add yeah, more notes. Yeah, 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 exactly. Either, I don't know. I'm trying to think of Cineo would go with this. Yeah. Cinnamon and licorice? No. Yeah. Yeah. It doesn't sound good. No, it doesn't. It would also give it a little heat, but you, you, you never know how much cinnamon to put in it. Right. Well, I was thinking of blackened. Um, the bourbon? The bourbon, yeah. I've never had, actually, no one would go with this. I think Buffalo Trace. Buffalo Trace would go good with any. Well, that's true too. That's Buffalo true. Trace tastes great, but it's, in my opinion, kind of neutral. It goes with everything. Yeah. Well, yeah. yeah. But the blackened, um, I have not had yet. Bourbon. I've had the cigar. I've not had the, the bourbon yet. Cigar is great. Cigar is very good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All Medora. Four different kinds of Medora. Yeah. So. Okay, what were you going to say? Did you, did you have a beer? No, nah, no. Nah, again, you know, probably end up falling back to my usual. Guinness. Although... There's like 50 Guinnesses. With the yeah, <laughs> really. It's it getting outrageous. Regular, regular Guinness? Yeah, your two favorites, Jack and Guinness. Yeah. There are now so many iterations of both of them. Yeah. Uh, I found out that they, they... I didn't know this, but there was a couple of Irish beers that have been around for eons that are now brewed by Guinness. Really? And you, you like two of them I never knew to do. Chilean? Irish red? Yeah, Irish red. Huh. Irish red brewed by Guinness. Guinness. Wow. In their main plant. That's interesting. It, the, the Killian story is uh, pretty interesting. Too. I look I was I had a bottle of the, the Irish red. Uh, my favorite uh, grocery store that is beer and wine, uh -huh. and they have. It's not a, your favorite grocery store. Isn't a beer or isn't a beer distributor or a no, liquor store? Food store. Well, uh, who needs food? You can say. go to a beer distributor. Oh, no, no, no. no, 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 no you gotta have an occasional steak to go with your beer. Well, okay. Okay, yeah, that's I mean, fair. And the the the, uh, uh, the usual accoutrements to go with the steak. Yeah. So you know. You got a pair of things, but anyway, my point is, they allow you to make your own six pack. Yeah, a lot, oh, of, that's a lot, of, cool. a lot of them do that. Well, that, I, I am expanding my beer repertoire beyond Guinness for that. So I picked, <laughs> I picked a bottle of Irish Red, and here, lo and behold, I look it up at the Guinness <laughs> <day. laughs> You just can't get away from it. I can't stuff. get away from it. Hey, well, you know, white school of perfection. <laughs> I had a beer the other day before you got a camera on. Oh. That one from the Midwest, Upper Midwest, Linger, Felker, or Felker, the uh, Summer Shanty. Oh, I know. That's not from the Midwest. Lining Cooper. Lining Cooper. Yeah, Lining Cooper. Yeah. Yeah, I, yeah, I that, had that for the first time. I think that's from Minnesota. Yeah, that's, well, that's, that's Midwest. That's the yeah, that upper, upper Midwest. Yeah. yeah. Uh, I, I had that They for call the them Lineys. The people who drink them all the time call it a Liney. A Liney, okay. That was that was actually pretty good. It went really well with dinner. Steak? No, actually, it was fish. No, oh, really? Yeah. What I haven't seen that I think would be a good thing is a high-proof summer shandy. They're usually just because of the nature of summer shandies, they tend to be kind of low-proof. Yeah. But I think a, a high-alcohol shandy Ooh. would be nice. This cigar is getting better. It really in is. What, in what way? The 
it, it's very smooth, and the licorice. Uh, it's not taste. as strong as now. No, that's but what it, I'm finding. But it's now. it's tastes really good along with that the, the barnyard taste. It all mixes very well together. So I'm getting a, a a much stronger licorice taste through the retro. retro yeah, yeah. But it is. I, I think they did good. an excellent job blending yeah. this one. Absolutely. I mean, they make a lot of good stuff, but I think they did an exceptional job with this. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I agree. Just to not change the subject, but the, the Phillies are exactly I think they're exactly the Okay, good. How many more wins? Uh, the Braves? Uh, nine more. Nine more wins, nice. Yeah. I think the reason why we're only eight games up is they got games in mind. Yeah. That's cool. I hate the Braves, too. Braves and the Yankees. Oh, God, I hate them. My favorite stadium? Yeah. San Francisco. I've never been there. The only problem is it's super windy mm. all the time. Yeah. And even in the dead of summer, it's cold. Yeah. Pretty this, we're also welcome to the Dodgers. Yeah, okay. absolutely. Yeah, we had the second, we had the best record in the National League. So. Um, uh, I've been to um, Chavez Ravine in uh, Los Angeles. I've been to that stadium. I saw a game there. Uh, How was that? The Dodgers played the, uh, the Angels, actually. Um, it's a beautiful stadium. It really is. It's gorgeous. The view is incredible. It's a really beautiful stadium. Well, where where in the city is it? It's out it's in Chavez, Chavez Ravine. I don't know where that is. I, I don't know. I took what a, I took a, took a cab. I have no idea how to get there. I mean, I was staying in Santa Monica, so can't be far from there. <laughs> yeah. Are you talking about the, the Dodgers? Giant? The Dodgers play. Oh, the Dodgers. Yeah. <laughs> that was a beautiful stadium. Fenway was nice. Fenway's beautiful. So they would say it's nice. Camden. I've been to a few stadiums. No, not many. I've been to the old Memorial Park in Baltimore, too. Um, before that was, Camden Yards? Uh, before Camden Yards. That was pretty cool. I, Except for the, the parking lot, it was, all, it was cattle chutes. So if you're <laughs> stuck in the middle, you can't go anywhere. You're there for the duration, man. It was horrible. The parking was ridiculous. The, uh, the last game that the Orioles played in Memorial Park, mm -hmm. I was at the last game. Okay. The very next season, the first game they played, we can't they came to New York. Mm -hmm. I went to that oh, that's cool. So I went to the last one and that one and the first one and that one. My grandfather did that with the uh, Phillies. He was at the last game at Conor Mack and he went to the first game at uh, Butter Stadium. My grandfather did that. That's cool. Yeah. And you got to be of course, at the end of the game at the Memorial, yeah. everybody had a hammer. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> I got news for you. It wasn't the, just the last game in the Memorial Stadium. <laughs> they had hammers all the time down there, man. That place was beat to hell. But yeah, everybody was taking a piece with them. Yeah, yeah. There was Some guy hit hit, hit the wall, and like a whole bunch of bricks fell out. And he goes, ah, I just want one. Well, he picked, and I picked up one. <laughs> were they, was were there they, a body behind it? No, 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 but no, no, no. When they closed up the old Yankee Stadium, people were taking seats out of it. Yeah. yeah. They were selling, in Philadelphia, they sold the seats. Smart. Mm-hmm. And the AstroTurf. And the AstroTurf, yeah. I got cut it up in small packages and yeah, sold I got. I have a piece of it somewhere. I got thrown out of the parking lot of Phillies. I remember you talking about Multiple times. <laughs> Selling cigars, I know, I remember. Yeah. <laughs> That's funny. Well, I've been kicked out of a lot of fine places for <laughs> selling cigars. <laughs> Giant Stadium, too. I guess we're not a fine place. Yeah. <laughs> I haven't been kicked out of here yet. Yeah. I'm working on it. Well, but that's your job, selling cigars. So they can't kick you out for that. Yeah, well, They'll kick you out for something else. Yes. <laughs> I have a cigar question for you guys. Sure. What would you say are the biggest selling seasons? Summer. Yeah, well, I meant Christmas, Father's Day. Mm. The, the holidays, everything jumps. But 
for a but, steady. But there's season. one that seems in the last two or three years has really boosted. Probably Father's Day. Father's Day has been really good. But Father's you know what Day might be near? graduation. High school time. graduation all yeah. of a sudden is, to, I, ha I must have sold nine boxes of cigars last week. Really? For kids that can't smoke them. Right. My parents come in, I, ju I just want, and can you make sure they're big enough so that they're seen in pictures? <laughs> That's why they're buying Because all the young, uh, the high school graduates want a picture with them smoking right. a cigar. I, I get that. I get a lot of that this, this year, too. Yeah, we we killed it during graduation yeah. period. Well, there's more high schools around here than there are in Quaker Town. It's yeah. only basically the one. But um, I did get a lot of that sales like that. Yeah, but Father's was, Day was really big this yeah, year, it was. too. Fantastic. Usually it's... Usually it's um, the two biggest days normally are the day before Thanksgiving and uh, New Year's New Year's Eve. Have been Christmas Eve. Uh, Christmas has always been big with Christmas, us. Christmas, but not as much but it's anymore. Not, not as much yet. Yeah, used really? to. Be. It used to be really big. Yeah. We used to do huge numbers uh, Christmas Eve or a couple days before Christmas. Not as much anymore. But th the day before Thanksgiving and and New Year's Eve. The biggest uh, three or four days we've ever had at Richboro, and I'm sure it's probably, I think, when I looked at the numbers for the chain, was the three days they announced before uh, the pandemic, before we were closing. Oh, yeah, 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 were, yeah. Um, They were big. God. Yeah, they were big days. And right afterwards, yeah. too. That was, that was big. So, anyway. All right, let's get our final thoughts on this. Love the flavor. Mm -hmm. We already talked about the mm -hmm. The flavor hasn't changed much, although I find that it goes in now. The licorice, the licorice mm -hmm. subsides a little bit. You get the smokiness a little more. It's kind of well balanced that way to me anyway. Mm -hmm. uh, well made, burns excellent. Uh, decent amount of smoke is because you can't see us now. So. Yeah. Um, uh, I'm, I'm going to give it a 9.25. Okay. Paul? I also find that the flavor now goes back and forth, puff to puff. Mm -hmm. So the licorice is there and then it's not. Not so. I'm not getting so much of the smokiness, but I'm getting a ton of earthiness. Right. Um, I really like this cigar. Mm -hmm. It's mellow, but it's rich. Yes. Mm -hmm. I'll give it a 925 also. Okay. Um, I I don't want to say it's complex because it's not real complex, but the, the you're right, the, the flavors change almost like you said with every puff. Yeah. One puff you have this. Subtle. Yeah. But it's very, very tasty. Uh, and it's really, really smooth. I love the retro ale and this is really good. It doesn't bite the it way doesn't, retro exactly ales right. usually do. Exactly. And you can really get into the, the taste and the flavors through the retro hill on this cigar. I think it's really good. I find it really engaging. Yes. Like, you know, you don't just smoke it. You're thinking about it while you smoke it. Right. Because there's so much going on. And now i got to try the other ones now. I don't know when they can I haven't had either of those. Yeah. I don't we think we carry either. Well, we don't. We just have this one. Oh. Well, it's, it's fine with me because this is a great cigar. I, yeah. I Even really though it's like a Maduro. It. And Maduro does add its presence there. Uh, it's, it's a great cigar. There is a little sweetness to it, also. Not much, but there is a sweetness to it. I'm getting. Um, I'll, I'll, I'll agree with you guys, 925 for this cigar. So, I think across the good. board, a 925. Yeah. You know what? I knew you were going to agree with us. What? Well, Chris Scott. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, you're allowed to agree with us. <laughs> I don't mind doing that. So. Well, thank you, you for watching. What? Never mind. Okay. No, 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 no. I didn't what? Go ahead. You I did. did. I'm sorry. Okay. I did. All right. You did. What I was it doesn't matter. Okay. Um, thank you for watching. And um, I guess we'll uh, check your um, check the Facebook pages and your Instagrams and all those other grams or whatever they are. Um, and to see what we're going to be smoking next week, and you can, uh, I guess you can smoke along with us. So, yeah, so you can compare notes with us. Yeah, see if yeah. we're uh, actually know what we're talking about. Yeah. <laughs> well, I wouldn't go that. Way. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Thanks for watching, and uh, 
Ciao for now, everybody. Smoke often and smoke happy. Smoke them if you got them. <laughs>